Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So, quick review. I just called uh, maybe for an hour or so. Talked to a bunch of real estate agents. Uh, longest 45 minutes to an hour of my life. A lot of cold calls. Really nice though. Like, I think it's cool to actually meet people that understand real estate. It's like, it's like, what? <laughs> When you, when you talk to people that are not real estate agents, you're like, wait, why would you do that? And then you talk to real estate agents and you're like, wait, like for me, I'm like, wait, people understand my language now. <laughs> so I would say quick review for a lot of calls. It's not like I'm not. So for people that are getting into this, making money online, don't ask about the, 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 the offer or, or like, how how I explain? Like, I'm not asking them to give me money. I'm asking them about value. So like on the calls just now, I wasn't asking like, "Hey, for ten thousand dollars, can I do business with you?" What I was asking was like, "What are your hours? Um, who's the who's the decision maker? Um, can you help me uh, with my marketing? Like, can you help me out?" I, I wasn't asking like, for, you know a sell or, or a sale or a close or whatever. It was just asking like, hey, can we help each other? Like, we're all human, you know what I mean? Can we help each other in this confused bank loan lender system? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense how I have to go through the bank to get a house as a middleman. So watch this. This is how banks made money, how banks made business, right? So banks, they need an asset to sell. So the American dream was having a house. No, that was a trap. That was, uh, what is it? Yeah, it was a trap. It was uh, a prison, a financial prison, right? Because having a house and then having to pay a mortgage, but then having a middleman doesn't make any sense when the bank didn't even um, build a house. The bank paid people to build a house. Then they bought the house. That doesn't make any sense. If I were to buy a house, then wouldn't I just pay everyone to help me build a house? It's not like that. You see what I mean? So when the banks, after the houses get built, then the banks buy the house. Does that make sense? And then they sell the house to us. And then we have to pay the banks back. So to do this with the system, right? To do this, to fuck up with the system. Excuse my French. Excuse my language. Um, if y'all know the book, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it's to get so rich that the banks, that the bank has to pay us back. You see what I'm saying? So like, when, when we take money from the bank, we have interest on our loans. So that's taxable, okay? Taxable is interest or whatever. However, let me, let me show you this angle real quick. Okay, let me get, get a different angle real quick. However, it's like this. When we as non-bankers buy a house, okay? So if I, as a non-banker, were to buy a house that was super, super expensive with my own money, the bank still has to make money off of that house. How does that bank make money off of that house? They can't, because it's my house. But because the, I, I, I have so much money in the reserve, like, like let's say I have $100 million, if, right, or when, or whatever, I have so much money in my reserve that when the bank like has to give money back out to the public, they have to draw money from my account to give money to other people. Does that make sense? So to do this with the system, to do a full 180 reversal with the system, each individual person has to have like so much money that they become their own bank. Does that make sense? So Rich Dad Poor Dad talks about this. He said, become so rich that you become your own individual bank. Does that make sense? Like the bank is not decentralized. The bank is centralized. So all the money goes to one place. Now that real estate kids like me, hoodie sweatshirts at 19, right, are becoming really smart, even 15 year olds, what we're learning and understanding is how to decentralize everything. So instead of, instead of having a bank with money, everyone's their own walking bank. Instead of having a bank with money, like the crypto wallet, everyone has their, everyone's walking with their own bank. Like I am my own bank, like each household, that one person is their own bank. Does that make sense? 
And so with real estate, why real estate is the future and like why we need to, everyone needs to get educated on real estate ASAP is so that people stop getting scammed from the bank about real estate. Does that make sense? Like lenders and, and bank officers, they're chilling. But they're probably cut guilty on the conscious. Like as a lender officer, you know, I would feel guilty on my conscious because Loki scamming every person that you're working with. Does that make sense? So with that being said, kids like us, look at that picture of me as a kid, right? Kids like us that, look at that me as a picture uh, last year. So kids like us that are trying to reinvent uh, the wheel, reinvent the system, what we're going to do with all that real estate and all that money is just like trading and flipping NFTs. It's going to be fun. There's no, it's, it's so like instead of having to go through the bank through this whole system, what would happen is that's my property. Since I, there's so much money, the money that the bank took from me, I can charge interest on the bank. Does that make sense? So originally the bank charges interest on us. However, down the line, as an individual can get so much money that the bank actually has to take money from that individual, then the individual can charge interest on the money that the bank took from the individual. Plus, because the bank can only charge interest, you know, five, 10, or uh, like five to 8%. As an individual, we can charge the bank 10 to 15% of whatever they took from us, interest. And if that's, you know, uh, quarterly or monthly, it's over, yo. And the reason why this works is because the bank, the Fed just keeps printing green stuff, right? The green, like, look at that plant. The Fed just keeps printing that stuff out, right? So with that being said, inflation going up and up and up and up and up. As a house, if a house is 500000 but last year was 250000 don't think of it as a price point anymore. Think of it as an asset. So anyways, everyone, my name is SLC. I own SLC Marketing and hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully a lot of good content, a lot of good value. Everyone have a good day.